this week's episode, Chase Prickett gets a surprise hunt from MFK for his birthday. It only takes a few owls on MFK diaphragms combined with some old cotton jolly, and Chase has one coming right to him. All right. I'm going to peel y'all in on what's going on this afternoon. Lee and his son, Chase Prickett, just got in. Chase is a huge MFK fan. He's really good on the howlers. He's 10 years old, and he's going to be doing some of the calling himself. They just got into town. We got time to make one set before it gets dark. I've located some coyotes in here previously. You can probably see the opening in the background through the trees. That's a field that these coyotes have been howling in at night. I don't know if they're in the, the field has grown up pretty good, so they may already be out there. We're just going to do a, a couple of howls. Uh, Chase is going is to answer my howls, and we're going to see if, if we can get these cows to locate. Uh, if they will, that'll give us a better idea how to set up. If they won't, then we'll just go ahead and make a blind set based on the wind and, you know, where the field's at, etc. But, uh, you ready? Yep. I'll just howl, and then tail in, you come in and answer me. You do a lot of howl, and I'll go off with right. one. Yep. Start off with the bark Yeah, if, you're you're not, if you don't know about using the whole one yet, you might just want to use your hands, you know, if you haven't tried it yet. Mm -hmm. Would you, I just give, uh, actually, Carrie Wayne sent Chase one of the MFK horns. We don't sell these, people ask all the time. It's just a limited deal. But, uh, Chase got one for his birthday. This hunt is for his birthday. And uh, so probably just waste them so you're on camera. But uh, anyway, we're just going to try to add a coat, a dead coat, to his birthday present. Let's howl right quick. He's going to love howling. I'm starting to go Nothing answered us, so what we're gonna do is just ease out of here and set up to make a blind set. We got just enough time to do a little bit of calling before it gets dark, so we'll get to it. We'll ease in a little bit deeper and get set up. Anytime you want to kill him, you can kill him. Oh, I didn't know you was going to shoot at him running. Man, don't ever do that. Uh, you always stop him first if you can. Man, that, 
that young. I would have stopped him for you. It's all right. We got some action and a shot off right off the bat. That might have been my fault. I didn't. I didn't know that. Uh, I didn't know you weren't gonna let him stop. I would. I would have sure stopped him for you. open like that with a rifle, bark at him or lip squeak to him or just wait on him to stop on his own. That was fun, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, got my buddy Chase and his dad Lee in. We didn't have time to do an interview before we got set up, but we done that one back there a while ago after we howled. Coach didn't answer us. We moved out here on this field. Got the wind right. We had a had a perfect setup. We actually had a downwind setup, which is good when you got open area. Wind, what little bit there was, was blowing like this. Had the Icotex set up out in the field just a little ways. <clears throat> and uh, we had this little embankment here. We were sitting, had a good view of everything. That field's kind of growed up, and this is one of the only open places in it. But we howled a few times. Uh, Chase, how old are you? Ten. Ten years old, and y'all hear how good he can howl already. And that's the power of MFK right there, and, and he's good with it. But uh, we howl two or three times just to introduce a coat to our set. I always like to do that. And then, good chance we would have called a coat in on just howls, but I was rushing it because we are running out of light, as you can tell right now. And uh, so I swapped over, and one of our go-to sounds, distress sounds, is Old Cotton Jolly. That's what I was playing on the... Icotech, and it probably hadn't got through what two series, maybe hadn't been on yeah. long. And I saw a coyote. I mean, he was getting it coming across the field, bouncing up out of that grass. And I told, uh, may have been my fault a little bit. Um, I told Chase, I said, "Get ready, here comes one to your left." And uh, what are you shooting? Two twenty-three. Two twenty-three. So uh, the coyote runs up here, probably about forty yards, and he was still coming. He was going. He was gonna come right in on top of us. But uh, <laughs> I think the, the fun of the hunt and the excitement got the best of Chase and, and he just couldn't hold he couldn't hold off that trigger. And uh, I told him I was on him anytime, you know, anytime you wanted to kill him. And so he shot at him on the run <laughs> with his 223. And uh, it may have been my fault a little bit. I should have told him that uh, that I would stop him for him or or I, I thought that, you know, the coyote would stop and then he would shoot. But, uh, <laughs> oh, uh, quick draw here didn't give him a chance. But anyway, at 10 years old, getting one in, uh, getting a coyote in, getting a shot off at it, and uh, ha having an exciting hunt is, you know, a pretty good deal. Don't get me wrong. I'm not one of those guys that say it's just about the hunt. Because a lot of it's about killing when it's when it's MFK related, and uh, <laughs> I can guarantee you Chase wants to get them killed. Mm -hmm. We uh, we probably gonna go do a little bit of locating now. It's right at dark, and be ready for in the morning. It's a big chance of rain, so I hope that doesn't mess our mess our hunt up for in the morning. But we're off to a good start. We've made one stand. Uh, Chase and and his dad Lee have been at the house for only a, a couple hours just long enough to get unpacked and come out here and make a hunt and we've already got a coyote called in so we're off to a good start and the uh, only thing that'll make it better is if we get to go over and pose with one of them for some pictures <laughs> on the next stand and uh, that's what we're planning on doing but i want you to tell me tell me what you was thinking tell me about the, the i want to kill it <laughs> <laughs> well well give us i got to hear the excuse now you you let him get away so what happened <laughs> What was, was it my fault? Uh, maybe so. Yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> all right, I'll take it, the blame. It came jogging out and it stopped for a second and pulled the trigger. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
you're gonna do better next time right yeah what'd you think about it though was it fun yeah good deal this is a. Uh, this is actually for Chase's birthday. His birthday was when? February 10th. It was February. I was through with all my hunt stuff at that time. We were deep in show season. But uh, Chase has been promoting MFK and howling on MFK diaphragms now for a while. And he's good at it. He's put up several videos. So when I seen it was his birthday, I messaged his dad and told him, said, hey, Chase wants to come down and go on a hunt. And you come with him be pleased to have y'all so here they are this is september <laughs> so it's still this is for chase's birthday that was in february but uh i hope it's gonna be worth waiting on we uh mm -hmm. hopefully <laughs> well we's off to a good start you know and got one of them red mfk horns that everybody mm -hmm. wants and nobody gets to have <laughs> you got one so uh happy birthday we're gonna yeah. we're gonna work on getting you some more presents <laughs> in the form of dead cows. You ready? Yep. Let's go locate some. Mm -hmm.